Let's talk about the big trauma that energizes your book. And this is your death of mother, uh, the death of your mother in her late 50s yes. from, how do you pronounce it? Cardiac amyloidosis. Okay, what is that? Super rare disease. Your body creates a protein. Your liver can't break down. Uh, it builds up in your organs. It mostly affects black men. Hmm. So my mom's a girl and like, I'm not mixed if you can't tell, like she's right. white. Um, so it was really unexpected. She died at 57, just th about three weeks after she was formally diagnosed. And I, obviously, it was awful and traumatic. And I felt that in addition to it being devastating, it was also isolating mm -hmm. because I could tell how scared people were to talk to me after that happened because they were so scared of saying the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I, I felt like I couldn't have a real conversation with anybody. And it's some of the shit people would say would be so like, oh, at least you got to say goodbye. And it's just like, bro, like, what do you say to people who die in car accidents? You mm -hmm. know, like, oh, at least she wasn't like torn limb from limb in front of you and set on fire. Yeah. Like, 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 you're not like, you're not helping, you know? And then also, I felt that joking about it was helpful. My mom was joking about herself dying as she was dying. And I felt like people, and, and I didn't feel like that, people would actually shit on me for dealing with that it that yeah. way. Uh, the first Mother's Day after my mom died, you know, I, I was sad, but I felt bad. I didn't want to say anything. I was like, ugh. The second one, I'm still sad because it's like you see all the Instagram, all the people are like out to brunch with like, you can only do that with like living people. And I posted a picture of my laundry basket, a bottle of Tide. And I was like, mom's dad going to do some laundry because I laughed and I you know, felt a little better. People were shitting on me for that. They're like, this is offensive. This is disrespectful. I'm like, bitch, to whom? Because. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know her. Like, I came out of her body. You don't even, like, you don't know me at all or her. So I, I, so I think that you're just giving de decorum for its own sake a higher purpose than it deserves. And that's what I mean by you're not, you're, you're, you're actually hurting the people who you're trying to help. The standards of mm. speech are supposed to be put into place to protect people like me who are going through it, but they actually ended up hurting people like me. Do you think it would have been worse if she had died in a car accident? Pro what would people have said? No, no, They'd I'm, have been like, well, they probably would have said, you know what, they would have been like, land. at least you didn't have to see her suffer. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. dude, just be like, this sucks. Yeah. You know? Um, you wrote uh, in, in your book, I was able to manage my misery because I was doing comedy. Um, and you, you talk about how the harder something is to talk about, the funnier it, you should be about it. Um, you also marshal some, you know, psychology studies and things like that to talk about the healing power may be a little too woo-woo, but like, you know, that this is actually cathartic and helpful. Can you discuss that a little bit? Absolutely. And I'm uh, unfortunately, like, I have no beliefs. Like I, I'm not, <laughs> I mean, in terms of religion, right? Like yeah. I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's not a Christian, but then replace it with astrology. Mm -hmm. Like I, right. I don't have, like, I'm just, you know, well, I'm like you, a, you were raised Catholic. I was raised so Catholic. Yeah. And I write about that in my last book. I am not a Catholic anymore. Mm -hmm. Or in my last chapter rather, but it's, you know, com I write about how comedy is my religion actually in the last chapter, because it provides a lot of the same things physically, right? Like these chemicals that are released, the feel-good chemicals in your body that can be healing. Literally, it can help your immune system. Um, and then the way that it can bring people together, um, it actually is healing in the physical sense and not mm -hmm. just the emotional sense. And there's proof of that, that even people who are terminally ill, they'll, they say that talking about it in a funny way they rate that higher than talking about in a solemn way, but people still say you can't do that, except for you know the people actually going through it and the people who study those people. Yeah. Are, are, do you think uh, people are starting to come around to your point of view, or is that just, it really is never going to win the day? You know, I, I'm very extreme with it, and if you've read the book, so Guy Benson mm -hmm. from Fox, he interviewed me, he had a... Uh, about the book. He's a laugh riot. Too. Yeah, he, well, he's, he yeah. actually, he, he can be. His husband's much funnier. Yeah. Um, but he... Well, that's because his, his husband's dying. His, oh, no, we're, yeah. we're not supposed to tell... We're, that's his, secret. Don't... His, yeah. uh, he, he, was, he said, Kat, some of this stuff... Uh, especially chapter five. I don't know if you guys read chapter five. I had an emergency bowel surgery. I had a shit bag for five weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the uh, title of the chapter is shit, shit bag. bag. Yeah. I had, yeah. And I had it reversed at the beginning of January. And then I had complications where blood was gushing out of my ass hmm. so bad that I needed a transfusion. And this was on January 6th. Wow. Like yeah. that one. And, but that's, that's an that's, insurrection. Right, but yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing. It was the most pain I've ever been in, but like 
it's that's fucking hilarious, right? Yeah. Like, I like, I mean, I, I, I forever I didn't want to talk about it though because I don't want people to be like, oh, like, was that okay? like, no, I'm not okay. Yeah. I have this like, gaping wound in my stomach. I can't even see my belly button. Like, I'm not yeah. okay. Like, I'm not okay, bro. No. Yeah. But every time I had to watch like different politicians cry on TV about, I was like, I bet you my January 6th was worse than yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he asked me, why do you share? And if you think that was graphic, I get very <laughs> detailed about the blood gushing out of the ass and the shit bag and all the mechanics of that. It's quite informative. And he said, why did you, like, why did you get into that much detail? And I said, because I didn't want to say you can joke about everything and no subject off limits and then make something off limits where I could have been open about it instead. Right.